Grade 7 math practice test for T and ready. Currently, this is question number 8. Which expression is equivalent to 0.6x? Um, a few things pop in here that matter. One of them is like terms. If we have a term with a value x on it, so this 0.6 is what's called a coefficient, um, this means we have 6 tenths of whatever x's value is. But you can't combine that with constant terms. So if you have uh, plus 7, 0.6x is not going to be added to plus 7 and make it 0.67, or 7.6. So if you have this, I'm not allowed to combine those two things together to make 7.6x. It violates the rules because we don't know what x's value is. It may not be uh, 1 or anything else. So I, I, won't, I can't have this. That's not a thing that exists. Instead, I would just keep them separate. I would never combine them because they're not like terms. So we can look at a few of these just to see. Like this one says x plus 0.6. Well, obviously not. The relationship between these two is multiplied. Otherwise, we would see the addition in there. So this one's out. 0.6x minus x. Well, let's think about what the x means. If it's just x, there's one of them, right? So I would do 0.6 minus one whole. And uh oh, this isn't great. This is going to end up being in the negatives. Because if I take one away from 0.6, I get 0.6 minus 0.6 gives me 0, and then I still have negative 0.4 to go, so this thing would give me negative 0.4x, and that's not what we're looking for. Um, for p, 1 minus 0.4x, again, those are um, not like terms, so I can't actually subtract that, that doesn't work, but this one I can, because I have 1x minus 0.4x, and if I do 1.0 minus 0.4, 10 minus 4 is 6, and I end up with, I don't know why I put a negative there, because I just saw it right here probably, um, 0 0.6, and that would be x. So my answer to number 8 is m. So a couple things to think about here. You could have eliminated two of these immediately just because they were trying to um, combine like terms. You can't have P or R be correct answers because those terms are not like terms. One has an x and one doesn't. It's almost like... Um, when my kids were young, if you gave them a $5 bill or three $1 bills, they would always choose the three $1 bills because there's more of them. They don't get the fact that the value is more of the $5 bill. They get it now, but they didn't then. So when you have this X, it could be anything. We don't know what it is, so you can't combine it with 0.6 because they may not be of the same value. It's like a $5 bill and a $1 bill, or it could be a $10 bill. We don't know. So you can't combine P or R. So really, you're only working with um, knowing that, first off, 0.6 times x, so you're not just trying to add it or whatever, um, and then that this is 1x, and then you have to think 1 minus 0.4 will still be a positive number, whereas 0.6 minus 1 will get you into the negatives. So your only answer that makes any sense here is m.